Hey guys, it's Maggie. And Zach. And we are back tonight on our six months of being married. Woohoo! So we're going to go out to dinner. Um, first of all, Holly rolled in something outside. We can barely breathe in here. So she's... Hard. It's bad, guys. It's bad. She's staying in the kitchen. We're switching all the dogs around from where they stay. So I think Nanders is in our bedroom and Holly... or Not Holly. Dixie and Bruno will be in our laundry room. We kind of spread them out around the house if we're not here. Um... Wow, it's Sporting really destruction on everything. Exactly. <laughs> and actually, Holly, the only thing that she eats is chapstick. There's no zippers in our bedroom because for whatever reason, Nanners, the only thing she's ever eaten that she's not supposed to is zippers. She does not like them. Couldn't tell you why. And then there's Bruno who has literally eaten anything and everything. So he's eaten a whole chair before. That was impressive. He ate our couch. Oh, he did. I, I just remember that your uh, dad's lazy boy back in um that he ate. Yeah, hopefully my dad's not seeing this. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting ready to go and then when we get back we're gonna give Holly a really good bath because she's, I mean she was kind of bad before we were like, ugh, little icky. She looks so sad. <laughs> well it's your fault girlfriend, you rolled in something. Ugh, yuck. Anyway, so. This is your up. Dishes are up. Thank you, Bubba. We're for... change shirt and we're ready to rock and roll. Cool. And we had, well, I had an interesting afternoon today because I gave myself a blockage. So we'll roll that clip. <laughs> hey. All right. It's like 7 p.m. I napped this afternoon. There's a hair in my eyeball. I napped this afternoon because I and gave myself a blockage after posting my my recipe on Instagram I even put like don't worry I steamed the broccoli well this girl did not steam it enough apparently gave herself a blockage this afternoon quite irritating so I spent after I cleared it up which took quite a while um wound up napping basically I started to eat some nachos that I made Zach and I and um, got the telltale cramping, and so I stopped eating. Then I noticed my stoma, looked through the little window of my ostomy bag, saw that my stoma was growing in size, and I could actually see broccoli sort of sticking out of it, but not able to come out. Ugh. So I, usually with that, if it's growing in size, my bag will leak anyway, so I just took the bag off, hopped into a warm shower, and um, put on a glove, and did some manual disinfection, I guess? Yeah, that's what we did. That's what we did, and it was pretty gross, but once I cleared the main blockage, everything else came out behind it. We were good. I felt a lot better. Number one thing to do, don't freak out if you think you have a blockage. Second thing to do is check out your stoma. Does it still look beefy red or is it changing color? If it's changing color, go to the ER. If you're vomiting, go to the ER. If you're having severe pain, go to the ER. Basically, if you are unsure, call your doctor and they'll be able to guide you better. I had none of those and I was able to pull the food out myself, which I know is really gross, but I didn't. I had a glove on and that really wears you out. So I decided to take a nice long nap and now it's late and we were gonna go out to dinner because it's our six months married. Zach has officially legally been stuck with me for six months, so no escape now. But yes, in the Trenton household, it is chaos per usual. Okay, I was trying to record, but Zach had me do a tick check on him. Bruno, how do you always know? He just like gets the vibe that we're leaving and freaks out. <sighs> what can you do, guys? But before we leave, took out my Humera because I have to do that tonight. 
So let it sit out while we're out at dinner and then it should be the right temperature by the time I get home. So then I can do my shot. Back is getting dressed and we should get going pretty soon. So guys, we're having dinner right now. I'm a little quiet. Maggie's might have closed captions, but we have an interesting uh, turn of events. Are you doing good? No. We will be updating you shortly. Um, <laughs> my bag leaked. And not just a little. Like, I felt funny. It fell off of me in the bathroom, so I don't have a bag on right now. So, we're going to enjoy dinner quickly and uh, let you know how it goes. Oh, and I didn't bring supplies because it's me. Happy six month anniversary. Happy six months. Love you. Can't believe this. This is my attempt. <sighs> It leaked around the entire wafer, the entire thing. Sorry. We enjoyed you very much. <laughs> um. Okay. So. Change of topics for the change night. Change <laughs> of topics. I thought the blockage was over. It was not. And like I said, my stomach gets bigger. I think what happened was my stomach got bigger and it burrowed underneath of my wafer. My entire wafer was off of me and had leaked the entire way around. Like I got in the bathroom. Thank God I'm wearing these high-waisted jeans because if I was not my bag would have fallen off in the restaurant like on the floor in the middle which would have been awful and I would be so much more upset and the only reason I'm irritated is because it's it's our six months and that was a special night for us I loved it it's and stupid Maggie didn't bring her big purse with all of her stuff I switched <laughs> to my little cupcake yeah, it was perfect because I was with you so I'm happy oh yeah like it sucked but in all honesty, could have been so much worse. So all I did, as you guys saw, was I got a ton of toilet paper, put it over my stoma, and then I took the liner for the toilet, which is kind of like a slippery material, almost yeah. waterproof, and I put that around it, and it worked fine. And I have ostomy bags. I don't know why I don't have wafers in the car. Wafers, I feel like, melt, so <laughs> that's probably why I never yeah. put any in here. So I just took the, like, ring and put it over my stoma and then put the tissue back around it and we have like a half hour drive so I'll have to keep checking but make yeah, good time. our waitress thought that I was sick from the food and I should have like explained it to her but oh well what can you do anyways guys hopefully <laughs> we gotta go home and bathe our gross dog do <laughs> What a great date night. Happy six months. <laughs> Sick of me yet? <laughs> I'm slightly. Yeah, he's the best. He's the best. So you just have to laugh about it and move on. <laughs> I had a great time. I still I've love never you. <laughs> had that happen. I have literally never had my... I've had little leaks in public where I'm like, oh, I'll just put a piece of tissue paper on that side and like, I'll get home and be fine. There, there was no saving it. There was... I was like... Just take it off, just take it off and toss it because couldn't do anything. All right. We were joking. She was going to ask for a uh, dog ear to go bag to kind of uh, yeah. <laughs> make a makeshift one, but we opted just to uh, rush out to the car. So, yeah. So we'll get home. 
I'll eat then. I had a couple bites of what I ordered. It was delicious. It, yeah. <laughs> From what I had, she thought I was sick from the food. I felt I so know, I bad. Felt a little bad. Oh well. All right, we'll go home and try oh. to. Oh that wait. was. I just thought it was my my crazy idea, which probably would never work. But I was like, how some uh, restrooms have dispensers for certain like um, generic like needs. And yeah. Stuff. yeah. I was like, it would be interesting if they had ones for um, ostomy. Oh, first, they're not letting me over. Rude. Wow, two people. Sorry, I'm just... that, We were trying to merge, but somebody was not having it. So, um, uh. I mean, I think that's a good idea, but also how often, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of people with ostomies that well, you would It's like an know. emergency situation. Um, for like a fire extinguisher, you use, never usually, you don't that's need it. That's true. So, it's kind of a similar thing, like in case of an emergency. Uh, Maybe that could or, be someone's a business model. You go around and stole them in different restrooms, like restaurants, malls throughout the country. Or, or even just like sell ostomy bags at the pharmacy, like CVS or Walgreens or whatever you have near you. Just so you could like get one to be comfortable and not have to ruin your night and have to go home <laughs> if you don't have anything. Like just... Could have run across the street to CVS. Oh, need an I ostomy bag. Because they're not over the counter. No, right. no. That is. I, yeah. like, one time when we lived in Salisbury, uh, went to a pharmacy, and they had ostomy bags, and I bought them there and, like, took them home the same yeah. day. But other than that, like, you, you have to order them. So, interesting idea. I feel like pharmacies should do that. Maybe it's dumb. I was just like, yeah, it's... Yeah. It would have been perfect for a night like this, but... You could also go to the ER. That's like a thing. When people run out of ostomy bags, you can go to the wow. ER. But clearly, I'm not going to the ER for this. Um, I think we're closer to home. Well, no, there's Lehigh nearby. Yeah, but. yeah. So, oh, well, there's our <laughs> night. So, yeah. <laughs> that was a great... Uh, it, our six month anniversary yeah. for us. Yeah. We won't forget it. <laughs> oh god alright I actually might end this vlog here because we wound up being a whole lot more than I thought it would be I thought I would tell you about my blockage and that would be that but guys just keep a smile on your face laugh it off and if you feel uncomfortable with people just explain what's going on just say I have an ostomy here's what it is it leaked I'm just trying to manage it and get through the night or the day or whatever <sighs> all right i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you're feeling good and we will see you in the next bye guys, bye guys.